What's up guys, my name is MadSquash924, welcome back to another episode of some Mass Effect 2. We are here on the Citadel, where actually um, we have just completed Garrus' mission, and now we are here to now um, start uh, Thane's mission. And I think Captain Bailey is the person we are supposed to speak to about that, so let's talk to yes. him. Uh, Thane's son. My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. Okay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Ducked rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. What was it you called, Mounts? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. I imagine that can't be safe. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall. Suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. I've heard enough. The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. Oh, that'd be amazing. We Thank better you. better hurry then. You didn't so we have to go to the upper level of the Dark Star. Assassinate someone. Of course I, I didn't. I also didn't tell him what you do for a living. Do you normally discuss assassinations with the police? I take your point. Thank you, Shepard. You're welcome. Perhaps along the way we can see um, where this uh, forged ID is supposed to go to. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Don't know if we will. I guess we would have to overhear some people about some identification stuff. I believe the Dark Star is this way, though. If I remember correctly, since the last time we've been to the Citadel. Oh, there's Mouse. Okay, so yeah, he's there. And this is my favorite store on the Citadel. There's nobody actually here for these IDs, though, right? You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty real. I really should find a use for the ID or look it up because, uh, or just, you know run around and walk to every living being on the Citadel to see who wants it. Eh, can't be helped. I guess let's go see what Mouse is up to. Unless the game Pretend salesman credit. wants it. We offer data protection wow. for any... Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You, Mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. We need you to answer some questions. And the people I work for... Look, I can't answer questions for just anybody. But you can for me. You gave another drill instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Is the people I work for? They can make me disappear. I'd like to help you, Krios. You always done right by us, but... I ain't gonna die for you. Look, it's fine. We'll make sure it doesn't come back and bite you in the ass. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. 
I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. Said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. Okay. Tell me about Kellum. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. Okay. You just saved yourself a world of pain, kid. Yeah, right. That's true. When Kellum finds out what I've done, I won't live long. And I can't do anything about it but hide. Krios, you got any kindness for me? Put a bullet in Kellum before you go. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. That's true. We do have to carry the weight of our decisions in one way or another, but we also have to live from them. And not dwell on them. Thus we become distraught and stagnate. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse. Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Okay. I mean, that sounds like a plan. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. We've got Kelly. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI sent to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. Time to get to work. We should question them together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Uh, you want to be a good cop, but I'd be the bad you cop. You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Makes sense. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? What's up, dude? Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. 
You two are in way over your heads. Pay attention, Mr. Kellum. That wasn't a good idea, kid. That is gonna cost you. Control your temper. We want him to talk. Sorry. My associate gets a little excited during interrogations. Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is worth for me. No! <laughs> That's awesome. Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. Joram! Joram Talit. Dorian in the 800 blocks. He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. That's true. He did deserve it, though, I suppose. I'm not shedding any tears. Not over the likes of him. I'd hope to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Pure results come from pure methods. I worry about what is yet to come. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Udina doesn't hesitate to remind them that we earned our place here. But that seems to piss them off more. We need to stop this assassination. Can you get us to the 800 blocks? Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. Time to get to work. And ideally stop this assassination from... bearing fruit. Hopefully I can stop it. And if I can't, well, then I would have messed the butt, you know? And that would not be ideal. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catbox. Tell me what he's doing. The Grogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Okay. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. That's impressive. Okay. It's been wonderful talking with you. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position. Oh, yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Um, I do actually... Ooh, I can't save. I kind of wanted to save in case somehow I messed it up. But, hopefully, it goes pretty smoothly. Okay, I'm trying to see some positions for us to move in case we have to move. But there's some doors Looks that Looks like way. he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Oh, don't worry. Everybody will, I'm sure. Okay, there he is. Let's go through these doors. So we should see him through this room? Ah, there he is. Right there. Target in sight. I'm trying to see any other ways we can actually move up in case something bad happens. Okay, they're moving in there. Can you give me an update? I'm almost in position. Trying. He's letting the bodyguard do all the work. That lets him deny involvement. 
Okay, he's leaning up against that, and then the bodyguard's inside. No sign of trouble. There's some other doors over there, but we might have to go that way. So far, so good. Hopefully it stays that way. I see him. Oh shit, they're freaking running. Why are they running? Where are they going? I'm do I gotta meet him in the next room? I think I do. There he is. Um, there's another door over there. No problem so far. What's he doing? I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. See him. What's he doing down there? Where is he now? He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyat in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. You're running for all. Working on it. Lots of people watch you. So far, he's not going anywhere. Interesting. Here they go. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? I uh, do. I got a citadel stop. health and safety. We've had vermin reports and storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just, just go on through, okay? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> don't you. let my boss see you. Okay, keep it to that door. So I gotta go in that one. Stay close, Shepard. Um, open the door. We gotta go. There he is. Oof. He didn't really go anywhere, thankfully. Oh, he's just standing there. Is that Coliot? Has to be, he's the only other drill I've seen. Coliot! Ah! Hey, I saw him. He's heading to the lead's apartment. you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. <laughs> what the hell? Talit, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Your dad's dying, by Your the way. Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you could die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. 
When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Colyet, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Colyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. Oh, thank you, Bailey. Wasn't expecting You're that. You're doing him a favor, Bailey. Thanks. Yeah, well, send me a Christmas card or something. I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Alright, so Thane has dealt with his son. He should be clear of any further distractions from the mission. Thane's personal matter revealed troubling issues with the uh, Citadel politics. He may have to support Elias Kellum and similar criminals to counteract anti-human bias. Bailey at CSEC offers a possible recruiting opportunity. Got some money, well, not money, excuse me, experience. Uh, Thane got a new power, I got shredder ammo, increases damage to health of organic targets. New outfit, more pistol damage, 30,000 credits, and that's it. been in there a while. Yeah, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. To go. Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Excellent. We did it. We helped him out. Let's see. Citadel found forged IDs. I still gotta do this. Well, Southling Harkins is a Carol Wars factory district. It may prove useful to someone. Um, let's take our rounds and run around the Citadel and see if we can uh, see if anybody wants this forged yes. identification. Maybe Bailey? Um, I should uh, be going. Apparently not. You need anything else? Let me know. Um, let's see. Let's start going this way and uh, we'll go run around and see if anybody wants this thing. We'll start going this direction and see what's up. Uh, I can't Maybe believe it's you. these humans. No fly lists. I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Give me a chance. I might be able to help. I don't see why you would. Since your kind gained a seat on the council, they've taken over CSEC customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Oh, well, it just so happens I have some forged identification for you. Um, here you go. Maybe these would work. They're new transit IDs. You... How did you get those? Uh, you know. I acquired I them from the stockpile of a very good forager. He won't be needing them anymore. We won't get arrested for using them, will we? Not if he's half as good as he likes to think he is. They'll probably only work once, though. If it gets us on a flight home, no one will come to harm by it. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow. Nice. Done and done. 
What did that say? Talk to the talk to somebody else. Nope, that's it. Alright, we're all done with the Citadel. Let's get the hell out of here. And that gives us some opportunities to actually talk to um Garrus. I think Citadel and security would be the tightest in the galaxy. Thane. I know C said too well to believe that's true. I see no fewer than four. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferris slug. Feel the weight. Hey. To the Normandy. That was nice to get that stuff done in, in the Citadel. Felt good. Talk to our companions and then uh, see what's up from there. Also, check the messages and the research bench as well. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I'm sure. A pleasure to meet you from Emerald Darrow Zen Vas More, Shepherd Vas Normandy. I've been digging through the Alari, just wanted you to know that I did find a few things from the experiments Rayazor was conducting. Had you shared them with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my own experiments are complete, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Quarren people reclaim not just their homeworld, but the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Rayazor's death will not have been in vain, and I will complete what he started. Cordially, Emerald Darrow Zen Vas Moria. Ha! Huh. So, the thing that I said in a previous episode, when once we helped Tali, actually happened. They ended up finding the stuff anyways. And it actually worked out. That's cool. And it didn't come to bite us in the ass, somehow. Okay, to crew quarters. And talk to Garrus and Thane. We'll talk to Thane first, he's closer. See if he has anything he wants to uh, discuss with us. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Um, none of this. There's something else I'd like to talk ask. About. Have a few minutes to talk. Certainly. Um, what do we want to ask? You're not your typical assassin. How'd you get this job? You don't seem confident. You really aren't the typical assassin. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanron trained my body for this role since I was six years old. Oh, the, to be fair, they were kind of those are kind of mercenaries, like the Blue Suns and the Blood Pack and the Eclipse. I mean, assassins are a little different than that. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. Oh. The Hanar? Excessively polite? Worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? That's true, you're right. Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? 
do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Wow. What exactly are the terms of the compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Okay, so it was a favor. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twig, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset covered eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Yeah, you, you've mentioned that before. Is that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Okay. Let's talk to Garrus. And perhaps I should talk to some more of our crew. Maybe more of them will have more things to say, but we haven't really been, uh, doing that as much. I probably should. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonas. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Gareth, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen, or not too many happen. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. Huh, so you just fight you each mean other? Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. <laughs> of course. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. Yeah, I can see that. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Okay. 
Let's head back to the CIC and then uh, we'll end the episode from there. Um, um, I'm trying to think what we should probably do next. I know there's some smaller missions we still have to do, and I kind of would like to do those before I go off and do some more um, companion quests, I guess. Because um, we still have to help out Samara. That much we do have to do, and that's on Omega. We have to help out uh, Grunt and Morden, and that is on the planet of Tuchanka, which actually we haven't even gone to yet. Um, and is that it? I think that's it. Let me double check. Yeah, Tuchanka, Samara's on Omega, and that's it, yeah. Um, I think the next episode will probably disable the false signal and stop the missile attack. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me guys think of today's episode. It's, it helps a bunch. And if uh, you're new to my channel or uh, this is your first time watching me and you're interested in Mass Effect 2, feel free to uh, subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 over on YouTube where my channel is over there and the rest of the playlists of this Let's Play is there. And uh, don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.